If I were the Phoenix Suns, I would no doubt, no hesitation, take Luka Doncic with the number one overall pick. Luka Doncic is the guard wing 2-3 from Real Madrid and Barcelona. He's eight, what is he, 18, 19 years old. He spent the last three or four years since he's 16 playing professional basketball against men. Men. Much higher level than NCAA. And as I saw Bill Simmons tweet out, much higher level than watching seven foot prospects shoot against five foot nine trainers standing still. Because that's what we get against most of these NBA prospects. We get things like. Yi Jinling. Was that how you said his name? I think it was Yi Lian. Yi Jinlan. Yi Jinlan. Yi Jinlan. Jinlan? Did I get it? Sh- sure. Remember when he came out? Yeah. Out of China? He was actually a little bit like some of these guys in that he was tall. He was like, would, was, was Yi Jinlan like a Michael Porter before Michael Porter? Like the idea was that he was tall but he played 3-4 he could shoot and we were shown that I would we, say he's like a poor man's Giannis right like he could do everything was it put it on Ball the floor handler. And, oh yeah was it put it on the floor and go supposed to, the to be well it was hard to know because the real evidence we had was him doing against a chair it took like a folding chair out there onto the court and said watch these moves and he'd put a spin move on a folding chair <laughs> he'd cross over a folding chair so while most of the NBA draft is wooed and awed by things like that, Luka Doncic is out there doing it against men. He's out there proving it. And yet somehow, even though there's a guy like this, who fits perfectly into modern-day NBA, versatile wings, positionless basketball, four of the top five picks are projected to be center types or stretch four, five, six, ten, seven-foot types. And Charles Barkley was on Golik and Wingo, and he said... He'll tell you who his top two picks would be. You'd be a fool to pass on DeAndre Aiden. Uh, you'd be a fool, a fool to pass on uh, Mo Bamba. I think those are the two best players in the draft, uh, period. Uh, I, I, I like uh, Wendell Carter from Duke and Bagley from Duke. Uh, and I like Jackson from Michigan State. But those are the five best players that I saw when I was getting ready. I love Charles Barkley. And I love Mo Bamba because I love the Horns. But I'm not taking any of these guys over Luka Doncic. And I know he was on our show a little bit earlier this week, but I'm starting to buy into the Michael Porter hype as well. Michael Porter, 6'10", stretch four, can shoot. Fits a little bit better. You can envision him a little bit more. And the idea of positionless basketball, being a part of a team on the floor in the NBA playoffs, And if Mo Bamba, and I hope he has, love his story, Harlem, parents, immigrants from Ivory Coast, wicked smart, long, ridiculously long, springy, athletic. I love Mo Bamba. Can he shoot? Because he's going to have to be able to shoot. But who did we have the other day? We had Jay Billis on the show, and he said he's Rudy, potentially Rudy Gobert with a shot. That's enticing. Yeah, but you're you're banking on him developing that jump shot. Like I'm just that that's something that I I just get scared of. Because if he can't even develop an average jump shot, where what is where is he on the court? Like Gobert can't even play when they play the Warriors. When the Jazz play the Warriors, if he can't develop an average jump shot, he's Rudy Gobert. And if you listen to Donovan Mitchell, I heard Donovan Mitchell on first take Utah Jazz teammate talking about you have no idea how valuable Gobert is to what we do. You have no idea that he's the MVP of our team. I think he said something like that, that Gobert is the MVP of our team. Changes everything that happens on the floor. So don't act like this this floor that Bamba could be is somehow worthless or not good enough for a top five pick. I agree with you. We get so entranced with projections and who a guy could be. And we did it with Ben Simmons. Is Ben Simmons going to learn how to shoot? It hasn't happened yet, has it? Everybody said, you can teach somebody to shoot. Meanwhile, the other guy that Barkley references is the consensus number one pick, DeAndre Ayton. Oh, because I'm the best competitor in this in this draft. I won't say I'm the best player. I won't, I won't say that. But I'm going to say on the competitive level, I am the best competitor. Um, I don't think there's nobody like me. I play my heart on both ends of the floor, and I give it my all. I play hard through the whole season, and I think I deserve to be the number one pick. Sounds like DeAndre Ayton will be the number one overall pick. Just wouldn't be in my book. 
Just wouldn't be what I do. I'd take Luka Doncic. 